What is up, survivors? Today, we are talking about manta taming. How to tame the manta, the giant stingrays we see floundering around all over the beaches and out in the water, falling around the basilisk sources. I figured the last video we went over the bassies, why not go over the mantas with this one? We haven't touched a whole lot of taming videos on sea life, so I figured this would probably be a pretty good opportunity. These guys are found all over the water, again, predominantly found around basilisk sources, but floating around out here in, in the water in just about any ocean-y style area you can think of. Shallow water, deep water, they're kind of all over the place. I would say more in the shallow water, you're not going to find them at the bottom of the ocean too much, but definitely in the shallow area which is a little bit easier to tame these guys they are passive tamed and you're going to need angler gel to tame these guys they'll eat meat afterwards but let's get into where to find them and how to tame them all right so what we're going to need to tame the manta we're going to need angler gel you're going to need angler gel which is gotten from angler fish so this means you're going to have to kill some angler fish ahead of time you're going to need bug repellent it's almost impossible not using it i would take a crossbow and a spyglass with your crossbow mainly because there's going to be stuff down here that might try to kill you um, I've already started clearing some of the stuff out, sharks and whatnot. Maybe you already have the Manta saddle with you so that you can grab this guy and get going. So make sure your weight isn't very high either. Anyway, so let's get into it. Let's jump in the water. Um, mantas, they don't... You'll see them floating around bassies, and that's not a bad way to tame them. The problem is, is that if you make contact because these are passive tames, they'll flock after you. And if you do that around a bassie, they're all going to flock after you. So what we're going to do is check this guy out down here. Wait, Dolphin, will you leave me alone? And we're gonna try to feed this manta. So the trick with these guys is they dart around in the water, so you don't want to touch them. If you touch them, you're gonna aggro them. They can be a little on the finicky side with that. And as you can see, I already hit this guy and he's gonna be mad. So this can be a little stressful when you're doing this. Um, it can be a little aggravating. Mainly because it's so easy to grab these guys and touch them by accident because they, they don't sit still very much. So there's a couple of alternatives to this. One would be using tames, but like I said, we always try to do this without using tames just to kind of show you guys how this works. What you could do in the shallow water is sort of build a pen, aggro the manta into the shallow water, and then cage it in. So that way it can't really go up and down that much get out of render range and then come back in so it's not aggro anymore and that can be and make it a little bit easier for you but i'm gonna keep trying this the hard way to see if we can get this guy so he's de-aggroed basically you just want to mash the e button nearby and oh, nope he's mad oh he's mad flippers are your friends do not go in the water without flippers because these things run really 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 fast so i'm gonna hopefully have this guy de-aggro we're gonna give it one more try. So this one might actually work to my advantage because you can find them in these shallow waters and it makes it a little bit easier. You just wanna make sure that you don't touch them. Oh, there we go. Got him fed. And he's gonna skitter around in circles for a little bit. Um, it's really, it's a lot easier if you're on like on top of them or down below them versus, you know, trying to hit them from the side. In the shallow water, it's a little bit easier to do that, but this can be really frustrating. There we go. So I fed him up top. He might be a little aggro. That's fine. It's to be expected. And we just kind of we just kind of trail back. But it looks like he's actually moving around, so that's not a bad thing. Um, shallow water is a little bit easier for a lot of reasons. One, megalodons don't seem to come after you quite as much. Uh, two, you can easily get out of the water. So going out in the deep ocean is probably not a hot idea for taming these guys. I would either find one in the shallow or uh, lure them into shallow water. It's going to make it a little bit easier for you. But basically, we're just going to keep rinse repeating this until he is tame. Um, you have to wait about a minute before feeding them over and over again. So you got to give it about a minute and then continue to feed it. This is going to take a few more times before we're able to get him. And then we'll go from there. All right, got another one in. We're about 66%. I think we probably need one or two more angler gel, and then this one should be good. You just want to watch your uh, bug repellent, too. If you start to run off of that, you want to get on shore and, and get some more bug repellent. Um, but like I said, shallower water is definitely your bet. I could make a pen around this to make it a little bit easier for me. But like I said, I always try to do these tames as minimalistic as I probably can. And this is relatively safe. Um, mantis do, can do a decent amount of damage and shred your armor. So you want to be careful of that. But... A lot of times, I mean, really, if I just made a bed right here on the beach and just sat out here, uh, uh, you know, you'd be pretty good. And here we are. I don't know why I wanted to accidentally name her Ed, but I almost did. 
Anyway, always have the saddle with you because you don't know what else is around. These guys are glass cannon sort of tames. They're not going to be really good at uh, killing a bunch of stuff. I mean, not really good at having a whole lot of health, um, but they are super fast as you can plainly see. So let's, uh, but so that's pretty much it with mantas. You can breed them. They do eat meat after you tame them. So you don't have to worry about feeding them, you know, an angler gel for the rest of their lives. It's not going to happen. Uh, these are fun tames though. These are fun tames. Taming these guys can be a little frustrating. Definitely. I would highly advise finding a male and female and just kind of breeding a little army if that's what you want to do. Or if you just want one, just go for one. Um, as far as stats go with these guys, I would say level up probably stamina, melee damage, maybe a little bit of weight. I wouldn't advise leveling up their health. And the reason why is because their health doesn't level up very much at all to begin with. Um, mantas have a lot of really cool uses actually. So first and foremost, I'm super fast, right? So I don't need to worry about any of that. I'm like, I mean, crazy fast down here in the water. Uh, this is just a normal movement speed and then I can just really start overclocking it for that. So I definitely have that advantage. They do have the ability like this to jump out of the water. So you can be skimming on top of the water, not really using any of your oxygen if you don't want to. And uh, jumping, you can jump over stuff, making this a little bit easier. Also means that you can kind of avoid some damage that you might take by doing that, which makes it a little bit more fun. Um, these guys are so fast. They're so fast and so agile, I think is why I like them so much. They're not really good haulers per se, and they don't have very much defense. These guys are more of like a hit and run sort of style tame. As you can see, their health is very low. And if I put one level into health, it only goes up by just a tiny bit. So leveling up health in these guys really isn't worth it for the most part. I would say a little bit of weight just so you can make sure you can carry yourself around with your equipment, probably uh, stamina and melee damage to kind of fight some stuff, a little stuff off if you had to. These are decent in PvP for the same reason, just because kind of like hit and run sort of style dinos because they're fast and hard to get after. Outside of that, I mean, in a PvE sort of setting or even not in a PvP, anything but a PvP setting, I would say these are travel mounts. These are meant from get to point A to point B. Um, another useful thing I would say with these guys is that because of their speed and mobility, I would say they're really used, useful for grabbing like loot drops that are down here in caves and getting around and some of like grabbing, going out and grabbing pearls and things like that because it doesn't weigh much. And the fact that you can do this is, is pretty hilarious as well. Just sit here and flap outside of the water and jump all sort of stuff. Uh, watch that though, because if you jump up on land, you're gonna get this thing killed. So you don't necessarily want to do that. <laughs> Make sure you're paying attention as to where this guy's landing. Anyway guys, that's Taming the Manta, where to find it, special abilities. If you'd like the video, hit that like button, hit that sub button. I will see you guys on the next one.